You gotta prepare for old age. Most people think that that's just something that happens and it's not. What you do at 40 will determine what you can do at 80 or 90. Old people are warehoused? Well, I don't want to be warehoused. If I can run 100 miles in one day, I can do anything. June 6th, I'll be 90, Jesus. These are all from Hawaii Iron Man. I could probably run across America if I, start, if I put my mind to that. Life is not a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. Those are words from 89-year-old Lou Hollander. And he's not just blowing smoke. He's trying to live by them, each and every day. Well, I'm a 90 and I, I'm, I think I'm, my best years are ahead of me. This is my world, this is my playground right there. But what drives an almost 90-year-old man to keep pushing, to keep grinding? The answer is pretty simple. want to be 120. If you want to be 120, you got to get your ass out and go. <laughs> it's, 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 it's that simple. I just wrote a 30-year mortgage. I sold a piece of property and the guy wanted a 30-year mortgage and I gave it to him and I said, hey, you got an X on your back. He said, what do you mean? And I said, you're, you're, <laughs> I said I'm going to be here to collect that last payment. Lewis E. Hollander. Born June 6, 1930 in Woodmere, New York. And he could have easily went to the grave saying, wow, what a ride 40 years ago. Between his military experiences, his career as a physicist, and his endurance horse racing accomplishments. But the crazy thing is, his last 40 might have even more wow than those first 50. Well, my life has been filled with miracles. Uh, they, they just sort of come. From course records. These right here are all uh, world championships. To Guinness World Records. To finish is to win. To being invited by the Prince of Bahrain to compete and promote exercise for elderly in his country. It was like a magic carpet. Lewis seen and done it all. If all else fails, persistence prevails. I believe, fervently, that you need to go anaerobic every day. So we usually go all the way around up to there. And also I believe, fervently, that it's use it or lose it. There's been hundreds, scratch that, thousands of medals and trophies. I mean, I have thousands, literally. The one I'm most proud of is this one, of course, because I ran 100 miles from Squaw Valley to Auburn, the Western States, 100 miles. He's completed 70 Ironmans and too many triathlons and marathons to count. I have done the Ironman with two broken ribs and a broken pelvis. Uh, I've done the Ironman with a kidney stone coming. Um, but I got through and I finished. And Lou has no plans to quit now. I'm not the best runner, and I'm not the best biker, and I'm not the best uh, swimmer, but I can put all the three together. In September, he's headed to the Triathlon World Championships in Holland to compete for the U.S. as a 90-year-old. Your body is an amazing machine. It, 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 just, it just can do the job. I dreamed of, um, of, of going to, to doing the World Championship when I was 90, and now that's coming to pass, so that's, that's the at the moment, that's what's going on. Uh, I think I have a marathon left in me. Uh, I'm not so sure, and I don't want to hazard my health, you know, because if, uh, if I start, I'm going to finish. <laughs> so, uh, uh. 
you know he'll be going anaerobic. He'll be using it so he doesn't lose it. And if all else fails, his persistence will prevail. What the hell, I'm still, still here and I'm still going. And when you think you can't go any further, that's the moment you push it out. And the whole idea is to cross the finish line. I think I can do anything. I, I sort of marched to my own drum. <laughs> Life is not a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body. You said it, Lou, and you've lived it. I'm almost 90 years old. I can jump out of that bed tomorrow morning and run up that hill without stopping. I don't hurt anywhere. I feel good. And I think that's the thing I'm most proud of.